Hello and welcome to another content on building resilience in children. Now in today's content, we are going to, we've come back with a very interesting topic of impact of reading styles on comprehension. So for the purpose of this video, we are going to identify the different types of reading styles. We're going to analyze the impact of reading styles on comprehension, and we're going to compare and contrast between different reading styles. Now, oftentimes, if you are in school setup or if you're in the home, you can start by starting a ice-breaking um, exercise with the children to engage them in the activity. And you can ask very simple questions, like when was the last time they have read something? What was it about? Did they like it? If they liked it, why? If they disliked it, why did they dislike? So starting some very basic con con uh, conversations around their reading is very, very useful. Now, reading comprehension is the ability to read text, process it, and understand its meaning. It involves making connections between words and ideas, as well as drawing conclusions and inferences. Good reading comprehension requires active engagement in the text, as well as an understanding of the text's structure, purpose, and context. So, going back to the very basics of why do we need to comprehend? Because reading comprehension helps us better understand the written word and how to effectively communicate with others. It enables us to extract and comprehend meaningful information from the text. It helps us to build on our existing knowledge and develop our critical thinking skills. It also increases our vocabulary and improves our writing and speaking abilities. Now, before going into much details around the different kinds, let's identify the different uh, reading styles. So, there are four different reading styles, scanning, scheming, intensive reading, and extensive reading. So, if we start by looking into the scheming, scheming reading is a fast reading technique used to quickly identify key ideas, facts, and figures in a text. It involves quickly scanning the text to locate specific information without reading the text in full. Now, skimming is used to get general understanding of the content or to identify the main topics. Now, there are different steps that you can actually take to skim through a text. So, firstly, it is very important that you read the title because the title of a text can provide important information about the topic and focus of the text. Read the subtitles and headings because these sections often provide a summary of the information contained in the text and can help you identify the main ideas. Look for the bold or italicized words. Now, these words are often emphasized because they are important or provide key information. Read the first and the last sentences of each paragraph. The first often introduces you to the topic of the paragraph, while the last sentence often summarizes the information presented. So it's very important that you pay particular attention to the first and the last sentences. Now, moving on from skimming to scanning, scanning is a reading technique that involves searching a text quickly for specific information. And there are steps that you can follow. So firstly, you can determine what information you're actually looking for. Before you begin the scanning process, it is very important to actually have a very clear idea on your topic or the information that you're looking for. Now, look for visual cues because scan Scanning for visual cues such as bold or italicized texts, headings, and subheadings that may help you locate the information you need more quickly. Read for specific words or phrases. So scan the text quickly, looking for specific words or phrases and relate to the information you're seeking. Be sure to read the words in context to ensure you have found the current information. Skip over irrelevant information. As you scan, skip over any information that you think is not relevant to what you are looking for. This will help you to save time and find the information you need more efficiently. Moving on from the scanning to a bit more into intensive reading, which is a reading technique that involves reading a text closely and carefully in order to understand and analyze its meaning in detail. It is often used when the reader re needs to fully comprehend a text, such as when studying a difficult or complex subject. 
and there are a few characteristics for intensive reading. Slow and deliberate is the first thing, which is that intensive reading is a very slow and deliberate process as the reader carefully examines each sentence and the word in the text to understand it completely. You need to also focus on details because intensive reading requires close attention to details such as vocabulary, grammar and syntax in order to fully understand the meaning of the text. It also helps the intensive readers when they take notes. So intensive readers often make notes or annotations in the margins of the text or they can also use sticky notes to memorize important points and analyze the meaning of those texts and make connections with other texts. Rereading is also an important part of intensive reading because it involves rereading sections of the text in order to fully comprehend the meaning of the text. Put emphasis on comprehension. So the goal of intensive reading is to fully understand and comprehend the meaning of the text rather than just skimming for general information. Intensive reading can be time consuming, but it is an effective way to fully comprehend complex texts and deepen your understanding of a subject. Finally, we are also going to look into some of the developmental angles for intensive reading. Intensive reading has got several benefits, which includes improved comprehension because intensive reading helps readers to fully comprehend the meaning of a text by analyzing its detail and making connections with prior knowledge. Vocabulary de development because intensive reading exposes readers to new vocabulary and complex sentences, helping them to expand their vocabulary and improve their writing skills. It also improves their critical thinking. The cultural knowledge, again, they gain a deeper understanding of cultural values, beliefs, and traditions. It also enhances empathy because reading intensively can help readers to develop empathy by exposing them to diverse perspectives and experiences. It also improves the writing skills because intensive reading can improve the writing skills by exposing readers to different styles of writing and providing models of effective writing. It promotes personal growth. Intensive reading can help readers to expand their knowledge and understanding of the world, leading to personal growth and development. So overall, intensive reading is a valuable skill to have that can help readers to improve their comprehension, vocabulary, critical thinking, and personal growth. So moving on from the intensive reading to the extensive reading, which is a reading technique that involves reading large amount of text for pleasure or general understanding rather than for in-depth analysis. It is often used when the reader wants to improve their reading fluency, build their vocabulary or gain general knowledge about a subject. And again, there are some characteristics of extensive reading. So reading for um, pleasure is one of them. And, of course, extensive reading is usually done for enjoyment without the pressure of needing to fully comprehend or analyze the text. Focus on the overall meaning. So the goal of extensive reading is to gain a general understanding of the text rather than analyzing it in details. Varied reading materials, extensive reading can involve reading a wide range of materials such as novels, magazines, newspapers, and online articles. Quick reading pace. Extensive reading involves reading quickly in order to cover a large amount of material rather than reading slowly and carefully. Limited note-taking. So extensive reading typically involves minimal note-taking as compared to the intensive reading because the focus here is on the reading for pleasure and enjoyment and not for actually understanding in details. The enjoyment of reading, the primary motivation is the primary motivation for extensive reading and, and of course, not for any academic or analytical purposes. So overall, extensive reading is a valuable reading technique that can help improve reading fluency, build vocabulary, and gain general knowledge about a wide range of subjects 
while also providing a pleasurable experience of reading. And there are, again, you know, multiple ways that um, excessive reading actually benefits um, children. First of all, improved cognitive function. Reading helps to improve the cognitive function, including memory, attention, and concentration. It expands their vocabulary. It enhances their knowledge and understanding of the topic. It improves critical thinking skills, and also it improves the writing skills. And added with it comes the improved sense of empathy improved mental health, improved academic performances. So overall, as a reader, reading is an essential skill and activity that provides numerous benefits for personal growth, intellectual development and academic success. Thank you very much for watching and hope you enjoyed the content. So if you like the content, please do subscribe and encourage us because it means a lot for us. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks.